Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. In this episode I'm bringing you guys to Sardinia where I had the opportunity to spend a few days climbing and enjoying photography. While I rate this fridge for film as we always do, I'll try to explain what we're doing here. Right now I'm loading up the Rollie 35S with some Portra 160. It's always very fidgety when it's time to film but I love this tiny camera. It is so sharp. We were staying in this small typical B&B and as you can see the weather was absolutely awful on the first day. So we started our trip with a bit of location scouting. I've heard there is an incredible place where people still live a hippie life in some very remote valley. This place is called Valle della Luna. The valley runs all the way towards the sea, surrounded by those granite spikes on both sides. I was shooting with a pretty slow shutter speed with the Rollie 35S. I tried to incorporate some of these beautiful flowers in the composition. There are people living all year round in these tents and we also spoke to some of them. The next day we were blessed with some incredible sunny condition and I proceeded to load some Rolai infrared black and white film in the Mamiya RB. It was my first time using this film and I really wanted to see how it would react to both blue skies and blue waters as this film is made for infrared light. The exposure is a bit tricky and everything that is hit by sunlight will result in a white brighter exposure and everything that is not directly hit or that absorbs the light, like the sky and water, will show up as black. To cut away every other kind of light, you must use an infrared filter, which looks deep red or black, and let a ton of light hit the film. I prepared one of the magazines for the RB67 and I started exploring the area. My first composition was this beautiful rocky formation. I'm mounting the infrared filter on the lens and I'm metering with my phone. I was metering at ISO 6. I framed the composition in the center and it reminded me of a big animal with this cub on the side. I really like this image. The Black Sea creates separation and the subject is nice and sharp in the middle of the frame. I moved on to quickly find another composition, this typical lighthouse on the beach. I decided to incorporate the leading lines of the waves and still retain a strong focus on the lighthouse, positioning it in the right third. Once again, I rated the film at ISO 6, which gave me quite a slow shutter speed, even in the middle of the day. I have to say, this image worked out pretty well, even if there are some artifacts in the sky that I don't really understand. Maybe it's just a light leak from the magazine, but I would have expected a much darker sky out of this. We moved on to another location, this time for climbing purposes, but since I always have my Rolai in the pocket, I was able to get a few shots.
This is a terrible one. But then I found this amazing rock formation when I took this shot, which I really love. The next day we moved to another island which is called La Maddalena and we found this stunning bridge where you can basically cross the bay surrounded by this deep blue sea. We drove out to the hills just to discover a very nice panoramic view and I decided to take the other magazine, which was empty at the time, and load up some color film. I decided to go with Kodak Gold, which lately has been doing great things for me and I really enjoy shooting it when the light is harsh. I had to load it in the car since it was so windy outside that it would have been absolutely impossible not to make a mess. And speaking of mess, if you want to avoid messing around with your color grading, well, be aware that this video was color graded with Dehancer, which is a very handy software which will bring your color grading to new heights. Use my discount code in the description for 10% off. I tried to frame this beautiful, rugged landscape in a way that the sea would pop in certain areas around the lushy greens and kind of create this mountain lake appearance. Oh no, I think the photo has a bit too much negative space. I think that a more telephoto lens would have been better, but the colors are really nice. Our next location was located on the other side of the island, at this small beach. We found this protected beach and I went really low to try and get quite a lot of water in the foreground. I decided to mount a polarizing filter on top of the lens as it was the middle of the day and there was a lot of haze in the air. The polarizer made quite an impressive difference. I then metered with the phone and took the shot. This time I think I underexposed it a bit as the colors were pretty off and a bit mushy. The next day we moved again for climbing and I just took a couple photos. We then ended up this incredible location near Ostia where I decided to shoot infrared again as the conditions were pretty perfect for that. I framed this little island in the middle with quite a lot of foreground being either green leaves or just water. And since I was rating this film so low, the shutter speed was also pretty low. I think the leaves made for a much better image as they create a contrasting triangle in the lower third of the shot. I then moved on to try and photograph some of these plants in infrared because I was also curious of the close focusing abilities of this camera, which at the time it was quite famous for. 
I found really interesting that the plants had no texture at all when captured in infrared. The last good day for photography was spent at La Maddalena again, where we found another panoramic point, which was one of the most beautiful places we got to experience during these days. I took a couple shots towards the sea as I was waiting. But they were really not worth it. I then proceeded to change my compositions again and I moved towards this rugged tree which was contorted and twisted by years of wind. I took a couple of photos of it and I particularly like this one where you can see the intricate details made by its branches. Towards the end of the evening the sky was flaming colorful and I was definitely panicking because of all that gorgeous light. I had this pressure inside me that was telling me to capture it correctly, so I went ahead and absolutely burned the whole roll. These are some of my favorite photos. I didn't film quite as much as I would have loved to, but in the end I think I managed to bring a few great images home. Remember all these images were scanned by Yanis at Wiscan Film. Hit him up on Instagram and send him some of your film to be drum scanned. The results are just mind blowing. After a few days it was finally time to go back home and if you made it this far I think I will give you an easter egg with me climbing one of those incredible Sardinian boulders. So enjoy the unconventional clip and don't forget to comment down below which image you liked the most. Until next time, ciao! Ande. <laughs> <laughs>